Right, okay. Hello, YouTube. This is the DBT Gamer Show. Episode 66. Now, as you know, I'm a very big fan of the Robot Wars TV series. And since I'm such a big fan, I do buy and play several Robot Wars games. In, the, in my last... Earlier this year, I reviewed some Robot Wars games that Game Boy Advance. And as you can see, they were all really good. Now I'm going to review a Robot Wars game for the PS2 called Robot Wars Arena of Destruction. Let's see what this one is like. Right, I have my PS2 set up. So, let's begin on reviewing this game. Now, Robot Wars for the PS2 is a pretty good Robot Wars game, but it has a few problems. I'll tell you them in my, as I go along my review. First, let's look at graphics. Now, because on the PS2, the graphics are going to be pretty awesome, right? Well, I have to say, the graphics are very awesome in this game, and they really do do the job well. Please. Cheating graphics. After standard random vengeance battle. Between me and the computer. Get out of the TV studio. That one. I'll take that one again. All right now I've got the um left the um, game set up. I'll be able to shoot some graphics. Loading time for this game, it's pretty quick. So you don't have to wait too long for to play the game. They better mind the arena wall flavors, they can be very, very dangerous. Three, two, one, activate. Right, as you can see, the graphics are really good. Put the um, triangle button on the PS2 controller, you can change your camera angle so you can zoom in on the action and get the maximum quality out of the um, PS2 graphics capability. I have to say, the graphics for this game look absolutely perfect. They couldn't have done better if they put it on the Xbox 360 or even the Nintendo Wii. Or even the PS3. The graphics are flawless perfect. I have no complaints about the graphics at all. Anyway, now that we're let's look at the multiplayer for this game. The multiplayer in this game is very similar to Robot Wars in the game where, on the Game Boy Advance. You just go to your friend's house, um, put your two robots in that you've designed, and um, let them fight each other. And the, and the gameplay, I haven't, and the two-player mode, I haven't played that much of it, but it's, it's all pretty good. You can choose the type of match you want, whether you've got the house robots on or off, all that sort of stuff. Okay, next we're going to control. The control for Robot Wars on the PS2 were like this. Um, R1 is, is weapon 1, L1 is weapon 2, triangle is camera, L2 is your camera, uh, arrow pad moves your robot, start button pause the game, you can also use the analog sticks to move your robot as well. The controls are very simple, and they all work really well. Okay, next let's go to the music. Well, the music in the game is pretty good. There isn't really that much of it. Mostly it's just a rough old theme tune. Okay, next let's go to gameplay. Well, the gameplay of the game is rather good. The main bit of the gameplay is the professional mode. In the professional mode, there will be several tournaments which we shall unlock and fight in. You've got your British tournaments, um, your Japanese tournaments, Germany, New York, 
so you can fight so you can fight with your robots all the world. There are several types of matches that you can compete in. There's your knockout, as you stand and kill every robot that comes in your way with your robot. And you've got other types of matches like the um, Capture the Flag, where you have to grab this flag and, this flag and keep it for as long as possible. And then you've also got matches like the Mad Bomber. The Mad Bomber tournament works basically as it is bombing the arena, and you've got to pick it up and pass it to different robots. When the bomber explodes on different robots, you win. Quite often. And you must have a match like, which, is a, which you don't like too much. Is this one. This match here is called Collateral Damage. Now, this is for the hardest match set in the entire game. Because when you try and complete this mode, you have a very hard time trying to complete it. Okay, good stuff about this game. Well, this first game is different than the gameplay. The gameplay is, is, is very good and it's a lot of fun. Um, another good about game is definitely the robot builder. The robot builder is, is a tiny bit more complicated than the one in the Game Boy Advance. But having said that, it still works pretty well. This is one of my robots. This is Cassius Free. You may have seen it before from the Game Boy Advance review. The way I've designed Cassie's Speaker, it's got a flip out and a circle and so I sort of a weight shape with six wheel drive. Now wait now when you're in the robot robot builder you can you can buy weapons for your robots, um put more motors in and stuff, and just completely modify your robot and build new ones. You can save with about ten robots on your memory card. After you've built ten you will have to delete one of them. Right. Other good stuff about this game. Well, there are loads of robots from the TV show that you can unlock. If you go to a um, training mode, if you go to a um, robot battle, you can see all the robots that you can um, play as from the TV show. The ones from the TV show that are on the disc. Ah, uh, one minute, just find them. Right, you get hit with this. Chaos 2, Pack Attack, Mortis, Pussycat, Deator, um, Fall On, Behemoth, Mark 2, I think. Terrors, Razor, Firestorm, uh, and that's basically it. These are other robots that are on the disc. These are just basic robots that the designers have built for extra um, robots that can pick to play as. All the robots that have been put on the disc are, are pretty good. They're quite a lot of fun to fight against. Anyway YouTube, I'm very sorry but I've run out of time, so please join me in part two of my Robot Wars Arena Destruction review on the PS2. Until then YouTube, bye bye.